Hello everyone, my name is Xantor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and set up the rhythm game, Yarg. So, for those who don't know, Yarg is essentially like Clone Hero, but the rock band alternative. Now, um, don't be put off by the fact that it's rock band, um, and you'll see why very soon, but essentially there are circle notes in there, you don't have to use the square notes, and it plays very much like Clone Hero, um, and this game is actually getting updated very regularly, rather than Clone Hero's last update been, uh, you know, like two years old, for example. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to this link right here. Um, this link will be in the video description. And you want to download the Yark Launcher, which is, um, yeah, you get all the all the options here. You get the Windows installer, Linux, Mac OS. So you just click that, for example. And then you've, of course, be able to save the .msi file. Um, it's an MSI and not an EXE because EXE gets very commonly found like antivirus stuff and it'll say ah it's an AXE ah your computer will go mad so that's why it's an MSI so I download that and then once it's downloaded you want to run it and just go through all of the install features of it and then essentially you will get the launcher come up which is what this is um, now launcher is pretty straightforward um, it's, it's a lot nicer than uh, anything clone hero should we say and um, there's a couple of different things that you can check out here. So you've got downloads right here, which is the uh, the queue, of course, and you've got the home. It's fairly straightforward at the moment. Um, and in the future, they are going to be adding leaderboards to this as well, um, online leaderboards. Um, but here, of course, you can see there's the um, all, all the announcements and the newest updates and things like that. And of course, I would recommend you join the Discord as well. Um, the Discord has a lot of interesting things for you to check out. So for example, it'll tell you um, about the game. It's open source, this game, so anyone can go in and edit the code and sort of thing. Um, Yarg does not stand for pirates. <laughs> um, I don't think the name is the best, if I'm honest, but it is what it is. And um, basically, as you can see here, any song um, that you have in Clone Hero can be used in Yarg. They're all supported, so you're fine. Um, and yeah, there's all sorts in the Discord as well, so I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, but yeah, once you've got the Yark launcher downloaded and installed right here, um, this is what the icon looks like as well at the top right there. Um, you'll, you'll see a couple of different things. You'll see the Yark setlist, which is a set of official in-game songs, um, which you can download and are specifically for the game that have been given permission from. Um, one I would highly recommend, by the way, is, is Frostbit. Hell yeah. Frostbit are, are, are awesome. They're like corn, but gent. Anyway, um, there's the official set list there. Um, they're all done by official charters, most of which you will probably recognize some of the names, like Miss Laney, um, Spatchy, and 3UP, for example. You'll recognize some of those. Uh, and then, I mean, that's optional. Even I haven't done that, really. Um, but then you've got the game itself right here, which is there's the stable version right here, which is the, you know, the latest version that it doesn't have many bugs, essentially. And then you have the nightly version. Now, it really doesn't matter which one you download, you can get either one, but nightly will update basically every single day. So you've always got the newest of the new version installed. Um, whereas the stable one will be updated every now and then. Like, look at that. The the initial release date of that one was March 9th, 2023. But, I mean, that's just the initial one. But it gets updated every now and then. Um, and, you know, I mean, look, the, the newest proper version was actually just last week. And then a couple of months ago was, like, the newest one sort of thing, you know? It doesn't really matter which one you get. But I'm using Nightly. Um, I don't mind having to update my game every single day. But it, it just depends on you. It, they're essentially the same thing. Um, but once you've downloaded that, there should be a big button here to say play. So you click play. And then you'll be greeted with this. You'll be greeted with all of this. I'm just going to move my camera over to the right side for this. Um, Yarg. You'll get quick play and all, all these options right here. And you can use the mouse to do it, or you can use your guitar or your guitar to scroll up and down. But for, for the initial setup, I would probably recommend you use the mouse and then pick up the controller when you want to... Well, you'll see. Um, so first of all, you've got two things you want to check out. There's profiles and then there's settings. So first of all, I'd check out settings. So first of all, you've got all of your... Um, settings right here. Um, this is actually the part right here where I'd recommend you pick up your guitar or your controller. Um, 
So you've got a calibrator here. So I'm just going to do that really quick right now. So you click open calibrator and you can click calibrate audio. Uh, here we go. Press any button to the each tick you hear. Press any button when you're ready. So here we go. Ah, I hang up. I haven't got my, uh, my controller added in. Hang on. Profiles. Connect. There you go. So, yeah. Let's start that again. This is the profile screen. Um, you can add a profile at the top right here. And, um, yeah, you can set all of your settings up here. So you can go in, into here. You can choose a name. You've got 5 fret guitar, standard drums, 5 lane drums, and also vocal support, which Colonia doesn't have vocals. Um, you can choose your note speed, which is essentially hyperspeed, and your track length. Uh, these are my settings right here. I find that 9 is about what I'm used to. It's the equivalent of about 11 in Clone Hero. Um, so do with that what you will. Um, then you've got Engine Preset. Now, Engine Preset is a big one. So there is Default, Casual, and Precision. Default and Casual, I'm pretty sure are the same, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I would recommend for Clone Hero players, go on Casual. Um, because that's the most similar to what you would expect um, from Clone Hero. And uh, precision mode is essentially, it's a moving hit bar, hit registering. So it'll go bigger for certain notes and then smaller for certain for other certain notes. So it's it's a dynamic hit window, essentially. Um, but honestly, I, I'm just going to go with casual. Um, that's, that's the sort of player I am. Um, then you've got the note theme. This is really interesting, this one. Because you've got rectangular, which is like rock band square notes. And then you've also got circular. Which is, uh, as you can see right here, it's in beta. Um, but essentially, circular notes are like Clone Hero um, or Guitar Hero. They're circle notes. So, there you go. Uh, and then you've also got the camera preset. Now, this is an interesting one. I find this kind of funny, the camera preset. And um, I'm actually going to show you the camera preset um, in here, just to give you a better example. So, with camera presets, you've got all of these options right here. So, this is the default camera preset. And then you can change them, and as you can see, it will adjust the way the highway looks. I personally like high FOV, this highway, but you can do all sorts. You've got Rock Band 1, you've got Rock Band 2, Rock Band 3, Rock Band 4, uh, Guitar Hero 2, uh, Guitar Hero 3, you've got Guitar Hero World Tour, Guitar Hero Live, and then you've even got the exact same sort of size that Clone Hero uses as well. But it's completely up to you um, which one you pick. There's no problem with that. It's all up to you. So yeah, um, that's profile. Um, and then of course you've got input calibration as well, which is what we're going to get into in a second. Um, and yeah, every time you open the game, you have to go into profiles and then click connect. And then you'll be set in. You'll be set in and ready to go. Um, I would also recommend clicking on uh, edit profile. And then you can see these are your in-game stats. So like, I've earned 21 million points and I've got three, four combos sort of thing. Um, however, you want to go into binds because when I had this guitar set up in here, it automatically had star power set to the whammy bar. So whenever I pressed the whammy bar, it would add star power and stuff. So you want to make sure all your binds are set properly. Um, there's all sorts of um, you know values and all sorts. But I just tend to find that the default is usually the best option. Um, and of course you can delete and do whatever. You can set everything up essentially. You can set, set it to whatever you like, edit them to whatever you like. So um, I'd recommend start setting that up probably first. And then now we can go into the calibration, which is right here, the calibrator. So we're going to click calibrate audio, press any button each tick you hear, and then press any button when you're ready. So let's just go through this. Two, three. Uh, oh yeah, hang on, I've got my audio down. Okay, whatever. I, I have my audio turned down. It's fine. Calibrate audio. Here we go. Two, three, four. It's best to try and get it as accurately as you possibly can. 
in order to make sure it's you know as accurate as it can and i do not want to hear music that'll get this copyright claimed that's why i was muting it uh <laughs> so there's that um so you've got settings again and you can just go through and, and do whatever you want with all of this so you've got audio calibration stuff um you've got some drum options there um then you've got song manager this is the important one this is how you get all of your songs in the game so what you want to do is you're going to click add new folder and then from here you can click browse and find wherever your songs folder is i already have mine in here as you can see i've got 28,000 songs and it's on a, a separate drive um so once you do that you'll have to give it a few minutes to scan everything in and it will take a few a few minutes it will take a while um but just let it do its thing every single time after that first initial scan will be relatively quick um then again i am on an ssd all my songs are on SSD, so it will be a lot quicker anyway. Um, so yeah, that's what I'd recommend. Do, do, make sure you do this. This is one of the most important ones. Then of course you've got your audio options. You can change it to whatever you want. Uh, graphics. Now this one's interesting. So I'm playing this game on a 144Hz monitor. Um, and I've found that at some frame rates I tend to get stuttering. So if I, let's say, set the frame rate to 144 and then, um, you know, set V-Sync or whatever, I will, you know, it says there 144, but I do tend to get a lot of stuttering. Um, so what I recommend you do is go to roughly three times what your monitor's refresh rate is. So for example, I'm at 144 hertz. Um, so for me, 360 hertz is about roughly what I should be aiming for. Um, and I, I, yeah, most people, if you don't know what your refresh rate is of your monitor, just assume it's 60, okay? Just pretend it's 60, because that's most likely the scenario. If you, you know, if you've got a gaming monitor, it's likely going to be higher. But yeah, I'd say if you don't know what your refresh rate is, it's 60, okay? Um, if you've got a TV, could be different, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it, it's best to look it up in the settings or something, or like a manual, or look up the, you know, the actual. Um, model number of your TV or whatever. But that's, yeah, you should be just using a gaming monitor anyway if you can. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. Um, the engine plays exactly the same whether you're playing at 30 frames per second or 144. It really doesn't matter. Um, the engine plays exactly the same. So anything that you play at, like, 144 is playable at 30 as well. There is no difference. It is not frame dependent. Um, which is another huge difference between this game and Clone Hero. Then you've got graphic settings, so you can do all of these settings. You've got lyric display, um, score scores, like um, song info, that sort of thing there. Um, and it, yeah, there's not much to it. And then of course you've got customization, which I doesn't seem to work this um, because of profiles. So if I were you, I would just do it in the profile settings instead. But if, you know, you can use the customization to at least see what changes you're making so that you can then go back and edit it properly in the profiles. Um, anyway, I think that's all for now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, remember to subscribe. And um, I'll be making more Yarg content soon. Um, and yeah, I'd say if you're coming to this video because of the recent score spy closure and all of the information about Clone Hero, um, about the devs not actually updating the game for two years, um, I will be talking that, uh, uh, about that on my live stream. Um, if you don't catch it live, there will be a, a VOD linked down below in the description um, where you can listen to me and Thardwadi uh, talk about all of this uh, drama and stuff going on with Clone Hero and Score Spy um, while we play some Deep Rock Galactic. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I hope this helped. Um, if you did, remember to subscribe. I'll make more Yard content in the future. And goodbye.